Alrighty, time for another recording, ladies and gentlemen. We're here on the old timber mill, and I decided to go Vora just because I want to experience the entire flying around with Vora on this map. Um, so we're gonna go where for a full tendril loadout with some speed, yeah, and then some fillers. I'm gonna go full Chronos and Nimble, and yeah, old old spawn. I wonder which iteration this is. Like, I want to see if they did leave the barriers for the sniper nests. Or if it's completely open. I know that there's not going to be the ramps up there. Wait, did I... What? What just happened? I bought items, but it's not showing. Oh, there it is. I have max graphics. These are max graphics of this map? Yeah, okay, so it's the last itineration. Jesus, the lag is unbearable. It's a hundred... It's a hundred and nine... Jesus Christ. Victor crashed. And I'm trying, I'm trying to move around. Sorry if I sound sleepy, but I can still do this. Yeah, now we can destroy the traps, so. Why did this wall disappear? I think this wall should have stayed. I'm not gonna lie, with the ping it makes it quite hard to enjoy the new the map. But I kind of prefer this old generation. Now, however, don't get me wrong. I'm okay with the, the, the new ramp up there to allow people to get to our nest, the sniper's nest. Jesus, dude, it's so laggy I can't even do that. You gotta teleport. It just feels way more of the Paladin style. Uh, to be fair, Timber Mill's rework wasn't the worst. I think it was actually pretty alright. Although it does feel like it, they were running away from the entire fish market that were, uh, sort of theme that binded these maps together. This is quite hard hitting any shot whatsoever, man. <laughs> like I'm trying to predict where are they going to, but with the the pink is just absolutely ridiculous. I might actually just leave all of this and let it go to live servers, honestly. Okay. 
Yeah, hi Curly. I'm I was recording, sorry. Capture point spawning in fifteen seconds. Nothing crime said Nico. <laughs> Kasumi could heal herself at 700 HP but Sylvester if the target had already five, five stacks on it. Four, three, two, one. Yes. Fantastic. And I'm dead. I guess I gotta move to America so I can have a proper experience of PDS, man. This is quite sad, actually. Person can't even get proper content. <sighs> but the problem is, like, I I've said this multiple times. There's no EU service on PDS. And I had devs telling me that that's not true. And I'm just like, what do you mean it's not true? And I'm dead. The idea here is more to just check out the map and how it plays out. I don't get what's happening with the items, though. Like, I am... They're not... They're taking forever to update. Did they only update after I leave spawn? Is that what's, ha what's happening? I'm not really sure what's going on. Let me try it. Like, let's buy, let's say, Rejuve. It ain't showing. As soon as I pass the spawn doors. Yup! Apparently, may they made it so that it, it only updates after you pass the spawn doors. Oh, there's the death stem. Oh, yeah, there you go, Yingle. Great. So not only did I have to deal with the lack of damage with Vora and have to wait till I have full cauterized to actually kill people, now Ying is gonna make me essentially not get the kills. Great! Please remove the goddamn true healing on the ultimate. Io's... Uh, Ying's ultimate is already one of the best he healing ultimates in the game. Why did I have to add this? My god.
You see the lag in my gameplay, bro. Jesus Christ. You can feel the lag just looking at my gameplay. Oh, they made the little credit symbol there bigger. Fantastic. Nice. Oh. <sighs> 50% exchange efficiency on new talent of IO, don't get it. Ooh, it's not polite to say. Hey, no meaner. Uh, essentially, if you heal somebody, Ooh, or if you heal yourself, Luna gets healed. If Luna heals herself without a combat, or is healed by you, or heals somebody, you get healed for 50% of it. It's assume me good. I, I haven't fully tested it yet, because with the lag... It, it is quite Three, weird. One. I guess you could say you are in the hot seat. So I guess that the change to the store... Just let me vine. I remember why I turn off all of the all of the particles from this game. The amount of stuff on my screen when I'm trying to play is just absolutely ridiculous. I do look rather lovely this oh, okay, so Kronos, as you see, didn't update, but as soon as I pass spawn, oh, spawn doors is immediately refresh it so that if you buy an item but close the store, you still have. Okay. The chance to change that. I think I was shooting the dolls, weren't I? I like the fact that, you know, Kasumi now becomes a ghost that can't be seen. And also she's teleporting more frequently around. You know? But fear was still a, a pretty logical thing for her. I don't think that needed to be changed. Game. Oh, I'm losing my mind. <laughs> oh God. Mm. Maybe I should have gotten resilience. So oh, well, doesn't matter. He didn't die. How he didn't die? When I was a girl, some centuries ago. Bye, Timbermill. I'm hotter than better, I guess. I'll see you back again on live servers, cause I sure as heck ain't gonna be keep keeping playing PDS like this. <laughs> I might try to do a custom or, some, or something but for like testing out Gasumi and such, but this is absolutely ridiculous, dude. I can't do nothing. I'm surprised if I even did any stats. Yeah, obviously Anna did way better than me. Jesus Christ. <gasps> Alright, but either way, there you go. Uh, old Timbermill. Timbermill Classic, as they call it. I still would love to see it without the, the sniper, you know, sniper nest old, um, walls. 
But yeah, go on PDS right now. If you're from NA, you'll have a good time. If you're not from NA, then well, good luck.